Yes, all the way to the Bahamas. Make it loud for the very funny Ashley Archer. What up? Y'all like finally a black girl. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Based on the room, I'm in my community. Um, that's great to know. Welcome. No, it's good to see white people out. It's a lot happening right now. And a lot of people say it's a fucked up shit about y'all, but y'all seem nice, so I feel good being out here. <laughs> I'm from the Bahamas. I'm a P uh, PK, a preacher's daughter. I'm a preacher's granddaughter. Sometimes a preacher's niece. My aunt and uncle are going through something right now, so uh, we can't really get into it until the FBI figures some shit out. <laughs> Pray for our family. No fun intended. Fun fact, I'm recently a preacher's ex. I know. It's weird being in a threesome with Jesus. You know what I mean? Like you go to bed and it's like you, your boo, and the Messiah. And it's for me, I mean like I don't judge anybody based on their faith, but it is really weird to bow your head after giving. In Jesus' name, Do you want something from the kitchen? Maybe I'm going to get some water. Jesus, would you like to turn the water into... Well, sorry. I know that joke got so old in our relationship. Jesus loved it. But, um... Anyway, the relationship didn't end well because I don't really believe like that anymore. Like, I just, I just wanted to have sex. And he wanted to go to church, like, a lot. Like, it's seven days in a week, and Jesus wanted all of them. And I was like, you don't want, like, three-fourths? Like, even, the Bible said 10%. You don't want 10% of the week? Do you want the whole week? Like, so I'm online dating right now. Um, and it would be going great, except I'm giving as much energy to the plot of my dating life as Bambi's mom gave to the plot of the movie Bambi. And if you don't get that reference, she died in the first 15 seconds of the movie. She was shot by a man. <laughs> and that's how I feel. I feel like I was recently shot by a man, and they're like, go out. These other men won't shoot you, but they all have guns. We're in America. Like, what do you mean? Like, it doesn't feel safe to be out here. I have nothing to give these men. Like, being honest, like, I'm a catch sometimes. <laughs> like, you ever been like a sometimes catch? Like, I'm like a bruised piece of fruit at Whole Foods. Like, I'm still expensive, but you shouldn't take me home to your family. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, so I just, I don't know. Like, I can't blame the men for it not working out because I know I'm not all the way here. I'm still in bed with Jesus and my ex. So until I leave that situation, um, uh, or my therapist says I got to, like, show up to therapy. Like, it's weird. I just feel like it's, like it's America. I should pay for it and it should just work. I should have to pay for it and show up. That's not really feeling democratic. You know what I mean? Like, we pay for shit here. You want me to pay and show up? Bitch, what is this, a job? Like, you pay? I paid you. Why am I not fixed? I'm still crying at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's not cool, bro. Like, what am I paying you for? <laughs> Anyway, um, back on the Christianity thing. Um, Christians, if any Christians are here, I just want to let y'all know, yeah, y'all got a lot of school shooters and y'all can't. You should let Joe finish. Yeah, you should let that show, you should let that play it all the way out. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, Jesus! Uh, you do not know how this joke is going to end, ma'am. You do not know who I am. <laughs> let me introduce you, because I'm honestly feeling like Christians... I hate to say this, but we got to get some old school Muslim rules on y'all, like some 9-11 gold standard bigotry, like, because y'all are getting out of hand, like, I need crucifixes to be the new hijab, like, the next time I see a crucifix in the TSA, I'm sorry, I'm yelling, guard, guard, I turn into a Bridgerton character when I call for the police, <laughs> because I'm hoping, like, they won't shoot me, like, no, Johnson, you can't shoot her, that's probably a spy countess, a baroness, minimum. God save the king. Um, speaking of Joe Biden, um, <laughs> you gotta be awake to be the president in this country. Like I'm new, I'm fresh off the breakup and fresh off the boat. So like, you don't gotta be like awake cause, cause Putin is living his life like in an Ariana Grande lyric right now. Like you're shaking his ponytail in the face of democracy and nobody gives a damn. Like, I felt like a half a damn should have been given. We don't got one damn on deck. Like, we worried about him on battling stairs and bicycles. Missiles, nigga! Missiles! Like, fuck the bike! Like, he can't even ride a bike. Bitch, can he ride the Constitution? What about that? Like, I'm genuinely worried about the state of the world. I came to this country for freedom, and y'all have none in stock. Freedom is like the new toilet paper. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? 
fan. Um, I'm like on Amazon, like prime freedom, prime rights. And the pro Amazon's like, do you have a uterus? And I'm like, oh shit, this is a trick question. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm actually uh, that's been my time. Thank you.